Yes, up guys, in this video we're going to be going over the Vintage Limiter module in Ozone 7. It is a module based off of the Fairchild 670. And uh, it's kind of, it's, it's a way to add fullness to your mix. It has three modes, um, each one being more aggressive than the last. Uh, it has simple controls. You basically have a threshold and uh, a fast or slow release time. Now these are this is based off of a kind of tube uh, piece of gear, so it's not as linear as say a digital limiter, um, but it does sound pretty good. You basically bring the threshold down and uh, select your mode. I prefer you know tube, sometimes modern. Uh, but what this does is this kind of catches the peaks a little bit um, and uh, adds kind of a nice warmth to it um, before you drive it into the maximizer. And I'll just give you an example here. Right, so we have the threshold down until we get some uh, gain reduction. You notice that it sounds pretty full. Um, as we go uh, down to tube, sounds a bit more aggressive. I'm going to exaggerate it a tiny bit. And as we go to modern, this is modern. This has this incorporates a uh, intelligent release, so it's kind of a a digital digital hybrid, digital analog hybrid which is, you know, easy to uh, overdrive, so you gotta dial it back. Easy to distort, I should say. Right, so you want this to just kind of catch the peaks, and uh, I like it because it adds, it adds a bit of color, and, uh, and, it, and it gets, you know, it gets the sound kind of to an overall loudness that you want. Uh, before you even get it to the maximizer, and it kind of it uh, it grabs on to the the peaks in a in a pleasing way. Generally, you want to bring the ceiling down a little bit, maybe two or one, um, so that way you're you know you're not clipping into the uh, maximizer. Um, mind you, that that's kind of done sometimes. Um, they'll They'll clip the 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 track before they uh, put it into a a maximizer or a limiter of sorts um, to kind of make it not work so hard, um, and they you know you get some nice results that way. Um, character. So what this does is depending on um, depending on your material, this will control the attack and release together. Fast attack, fast release. And uh, if we bring down the threshold, you can kind of see that with modern. And we can kind of slow it down to the verge of... Maybe we get some pumpiness down there. Remember I said before that pumpiness is kind of not what you want? Generally, the, the character fast... Well, the, the release, you know, by default um, is pretty good where it's at. And uh, yeah, um, that is basically it. Um, simple controls, but a lot is kind of going on under the hood. Um, meaning, you know, the what it does to the, the transients and the attack and release aren't linear. Um, and what makes something sound analog or vintage is uh, non-linearities. Anyway, I uh, hope you learned stuff. Uh, we'll be back. Take care and have a good one.